Hi guys, Yuri here again. As you can see, we're going to open both the Brilliant Stars and the Lost Orion build and battle stadium. Um, from both sets, at the point that I'm recording this, I still have not pulled any alternate art from either one of these sets. So we're gonna see which uh, stadium will have the better pulls. And I mean, I don't know. I, in the last couple of verses, it was also always like uh, sleeved booster packs or, uh, or, or, or check lane blisters or whatever uh, to make the comparison to do the verses. But I don't have those from Brilliant Stars. Uh, I mean, I do have sleeved booster packs, but it's in a uh, but it's in a case of 144 packs. So I will not open that just to do a comparison of 10 packs. I'd much rather do a comparison of like 12 against 12 than with a battle stadium. And you might ask, like, what do you mean 12 booster packs? Yeah, there are in total 12 booster packs in every battle build and battle build and battle stadium uh, because there are four loose in there, and there are also two uh, battle kits which also consist out of four booster packs uh, and some other stuff in there. I've never opened a build and battle stadium before. Sorry to bump the camera. Uh, so this will be the first time. By the time that you guys see this, I will probably already have done a live stream where I compare the four battle build and battle stadiums from the alternate art sets. So you might have seen me open one already, but for me, it is the first time opening these. So let's start with the Astral Radiance one. Actually, it looks quite good, the art on, uh, on the build and battle stadiums. I've never seen an opening of these either. I mean, not fully or not paid attention to it, maybe. Uh, I might have seen one uh, like really, I don't know, I don't remember. Let's just, let's just say that. But let's dig into these, let's open them up. It's basically like a smaller version of ETBs, basically, I think. It's the same width and such, but it's just, BTBs are like this high because there's like the cardboard in it and I, I think it's mainly display wise because inside you can fit basically the same thing probably uh, but yeah so we see two build and battle kits uh, I don't actually know what else is in this it's probably similar to a ETB we got damage coins on both sides probably let's see here we got the dice right here i hope it focuses okay we got four loose packs of brilliant stars right then we have a deck i think is this just energy cards i actually don't know i genuinely don't know but i think it's mostly energy cards then we have two build and battle kits yeah, so, and there's four packs in each, so uh, a 40 card ready uh, to play deck. So there's a deck in it, uh, including one of four unique foil promo cards, four TCG booster packs, and a code card for TCG Live. So that's actually quite a good amount to put in this, I think. Uh, I think this is probably just energy cards. Let's, let's look at the back from the build and battle kit, because... Oh, it doesn't really say that. It's probably on the sleeves. Let me grab one of the sleeves back. Let's see here uh, on the sleeve. It does say on the back here. So two individual build and battle boxes, uh, four additional uh, booster packs, 120 energy cards. Yeah, so these are just energy cards, which means I won't open these. Uh, that's pretty much it. All right, so let's let's continue. Let's continue. I will just put this back in. We don't need all of this. Uh, we're gonna open these build and battle kits, of course. Let's slice them up right now. I've never opened one of these before. And it's a similar experience, I think, to 
uh, booster bundles where there's six booster packs in it, but instead of the six, there's four here with a kit, with a battle kit in it, a deck, let's say. Um, yeah, same way to open these, okay. But that makes a total of 12 packs in these. Yeah, so we got four more packs in each one of them. And this is, I don't know what this is. Uh, cancellation, align and show of force. Build-in tips. Okay. And this is the card list. Okay. Is this from the re is this from the whole set then? I think it is. Either way, uh, we have a deck right here with a leopard um, here on the front, hollow leopard with the brilliant stars logo on it. So that's the deck. Uh, I will not open the deck because it's I'm all about the. I mean the deck is probably the same no matter what the. I don't know, it could be different, I don't know. Uh, but the focus is on the loose booster packs here. Uh, then we have this side, and that's a Lucario, hollow Lucario with the brilliant stars uh, sign on it. All right, so let's put all of that back. We can have, we have the same exact things in the Lost Origin, build and battle box, ba build and battle stadium I should say. So let's just grab all the packs here, and this side, same thing, different dice, so, though, so energy cards, just the same thing here, build and battle kits, let's open these. Right. Let's take that out. Same on the other one here. Is it not? No, it's not ripped yet. Let's open these. There's four more packs in each. And what card do we get out of the deck? Oh, the Machamp Hollow with the Lost Origin stamp on it. I think that's probably one of the better ones to get from the stamped cards. Oh, we got the Gengar Hollow here. That's probably even better with the stamp. Okay, okay. Kind of nice, kind of nice. Let's put this back into the stadium all right and we got all 12 packs from both sets so we got lost origin and brilliant stars we're gonna look which set is going to give us the best results right here when opening it so uh, one pack at a time from each set let's start off with brilliant stars I actually don't have a lot of loose products of Brilliant Stars. Um, I think the only products that I have from Brilliant Stars are, I have six booster boxes right now. I have six more build and battle stadiums from Brilliant Stars, I think, after this. Uh, and I'm thinking, like I have one ETB, regular ETB, and one Pokemon Center ETB. That's basically it, I think. Right away, Trainer Gallery, Oranguru, already have this one, but a beautiful card. And a regular Magmortar. Very good start for Brilliant Stars here. I've been pretty lucky lately with Brilliant Stars. The last time that I opened it was from the Juniper uh, milk carton deck whatever box uh, it's not called that way but you know what I mean right um, 
Yeah, I've been lucky there too. Pulled basically, like, it was probably the third most popular card in the trainer gallery, the Sylveon V Max there. That was a super nice pull uh, as well. But okay, Lost Origin, what will you give us? Let's find out. Oh, this one is upside down. Reverse Hollow Horsey and a Mimikyu. So nothing from Lost Origin yet. Let's see. So there's, there's three sets from Sword and Shield left where I have no alternate art just yet. And that's uh, Battle Styles is one of them. Then Brilliant Stars and Lost Origin. Those are the sets of which I don't have an alternate art yet. Reverse Hollow Starly and a regular rare War Madame. So I hope at some point I'm able to pull an alternate art from both sets. There we go. And I really want to pull the cards because I always, like I can always buy one of the alternate arts myself of course, but I would just like to pull at least one of the alternate arts of those sets. Reverse Hollow Litwig and a regular rare Melamar. Malam Thing is with uh, Brilliant Stars, Lost Origin and Silver Tempest, there's only four alternate arts in the whole set, in those sets. That's the least amount of Sword and Shield, because Astral Radiance has six, I believe. Fusion Strike has, I think, nine. Uh, Battle Styles has also six or seven, I believe. Or is it? I don't know. Um, then Fusion Strike has nine, I believe. Or 11, I don't know. Chilling Rain, 13, I think. And then Evolving Skies, I think, 16 or so. Uh, Brilliant Stars, we have something in the back, but I'm not sure what it is. I think it seems to be a full art. Reverse Hollow Executor, yeah, it is a full art. Granbull V. All right, don't have this card yet. Um, Brilliant Stars is giving the goods right now. Uh, Lost Origin, nothing yet. Hope we can get something. Now that, now that I think about it, uh, I'm just looking at the arts here and we have Arceus and Giratina on the, on the battle stadiums. And one of the is the like God and the other one is the God of the underworld, whatever the like he's the, some kind of like this the, the demon uh, Pokemon you could say and then Astral Radiance in between them have Palkia and, and Dialga as their main ones but then like Silver Tempest has Lugia and that's that that's like it, it seems not fitting right if you think about it Lost Origin, Chandelure, already have this one, but that's fine. And they Hollow bar bar Barbarical. I cannot pronounce those names properly at first try. Uh, but yeah, I, I, do, I do think that's kind of odd that they... That Silver Tempest is not really in line with the other Trainer Gallery sets. At least, that's, that's my thought on that. All right. It seems like the stack on Brilliant Stars is a lot smaller than the one from Lost Origin, but I, is it just, I don't know. I think there's equally as many packs, so. Brilliant Stars, come on. Reverse Hollow Execute and a regular rare Bril Brilloom. So now it should be level, but it's not. Hmm, okay. I guess we'll find out if there's a booster pack, if, if there's a booster pack short on the Brilliant Star side, but I don't think there is. So. There we 
go. Thing is, there is no, there are no ba building battle stadiums from battle styles. Uh, although it would, of course, fit the name, but otherwise, I would have uh, taken this, taken battle styles with these two as well, because I also need one more from one, uh, one alternate art from battle styles too. The only products that I have from battle styles are four more ETBs and I think is it five booster boxes five booster boxes so I'm not sure I think that I think battle styles might be the hardest one to pull a alternate art from just because I have the least amount of products from it so brilliant stars reverse holotropius regular rare star raptor Slowing down a little bit on Brilliant Stars' side. Come on. It is with some other trainer galleries, some black borders if possible, but I don't see them. Reverse Hollow Cedra and a Hollow Shift Tree. Okay. Come on. Which set do you like more out of Brilliant Stars and Lost Origin? I actually do not know. I think I like Brilliant Stars more because um, I think there's more cards that are wanted in the trainer gallery, but also from the regular set, I think I like the gold cards too. I don't know. There's something in the back, but I think it's a regular V because it's a black border, reverse hollow gabite, and a whimsicott V. Already have this one. Nothing too special there. It is kind of handy though that these build and battle stadiums, they do take up less space than ETBs and they have more booster packs. I don't really understand why they are not as popular as ETBs because um, they have more packs in them and they're more space efficient. I think it's purely the art on the box because uh, it's not as displayable maybe, I don't know. Reverse Hollow Gudra and the regular rare Dust Ox. So far Brilliant Stars is doing it better than Lost Origin is. Let's find out, come on. Reverse Hollow Tornadoes and a regular rare Electivire. Lost Origin. I mean, I've been surprised before by Lost Origin, even though I don't think the pull rates are, are like better than the other uh, trainer gallery sets. What is this going to be? We have something in the back, but I'm not sure. It is a black border, so I think it is going to be a regular V. We got a reverse hollow shift tree and a berserker V. If it only were a uh, alternate art, that would be sensational. But okay. Everything is still possible. Oh, yeah. There's the code. Don't see anything in this. Reverse hollow Burmy and a hollow boss's orders. And I've seen somebody um, make a video on like how much they use the moon in some of the arts, and it's I mean if you know if you're if you're paying attention to it, it might be that way, but I've I've never noticed it before, so it doesn't bother me specifically. 
let me grab another stack of uh, sleeves because there I have no more. All right. So we got another pack of sleeves here. There we go. All right. Because I, I think we will need more. I hope we will need more. So far, nothing too crazy out of either one of the sets. Both have a trainer gallery, one, both have a regular V. And uh, Brilliant Stars has a full art. So, reverse hollow Clefairy and a hollow Empoleon. All right. Yeah, I think we got one pack less from Brilliant Stars. How's that possible? That's kind of weird. I don't know, I might just not have paid attention and I've... Did I open two in a row? I don't remember. Reverse Hollow Lake Acuity and a regular rare Landorus. I did not miss any, did I? Three packs, four packs. What is going on? Did I miss a pack? No, right? Hmm. How did it? I don't really get it. How many packs did I open right now? Let me check. On the energy cards, I will be able to see it. One. Sorry, guys. I will just have to check this. Two. Three. I mean, it, no, it is correct. It is correct. I just, oh my God, I'm so stupid sometimes. I still have to open one of Lost Origin. Oh my God, Yuri. Shut up, just, just continue. I'm making a fool out of myself here. Okay, there's something in this, I think. Question is, what is it going to be? Um, hard to tell right now. Let's see. What is the back saying? It's a black border. So I think it's going to be a regular V once again. Uh, we have a reverse hollow Luminion and a Delphox V. Yes, a regular V here. Oh, it's last origin. Wrong stack here. <laughs> I'm messing it up again. God damn it. I'm not paying enough attention today so ah, it's going pretty neck and neck right now I mean it's st I'm still giving it to brilliant stars because the one full art instead of the V come on we got a reverse hollow cup chew and a regular rare Lipard. Lipard. Huh, okay. Lost Origin can definitely still get on top right now. Very, very comparable results so far. And I think there is something in this or not. I might have seen this wrong, but let's find out. Oh. I, I thought the colors were a bit off there. I think there is... Nah, I, I just saw that wrong, probably. You got a reverse hollow Mian Chao and a hollow glass rear. So no, I saw wrong. <laughs> As I sometimes do. Two packs each to go. Very, very comparable here. Nothing crazy. 
but decent results. Not too disappointed, not too excited either. <laughs> Come on, can we get one more trainer gallery? Oh, we will. And what? Another? What are the chances? How are, how are these cards like put into the sleeves like so many different cards you can have and then you can and then you pull the same ones in the same battle stadium kind of weird but hey brilliant stars definitely on top And it's not new cards for me either, so <laughs> got a reverse holo sudo Mimikyu again. Hmm. Last pack for each side. Seems to me that that the battle that brilliant stars is going to win this round. There's the code. I think there's something again in this pack. It's another black border, so a, a regular V again. <laughs> we got a reverse Hollow Cliff Fable, and okay, Charizard V. If there's one V I'm happy with, this might be it. Okay, last pack for Last Origin. Very little chance that we will beat Brilliant Stars from this pack. Very little chance. Come on. Let's focus. It's not focusing. It's on the focus point. Why is it not focusing? There we go, finally, oh my god, that took a long time. Last pack, Lost Origin, come on. Will we get something? Nope, Reverse Hollow Stabilize and a regular rare Parasect. So, uh, Brilliant Stars won that round, definitely. Uh, we got three trainer galleries, of which, no, no, two trainer galleries, actually the same ones. That's kind of weird in my opinion but yeah it is what it is a full art grand bull v a whimsicon v and charizard v and with lost origins just got three hits not a lot for 12 packs i would say uh delphox v berserker v and chandelure v uh from uh, chandelure all um i was about to say um from the trainer gallery um and i i don't think i got any new pulls actually Man, yeah, the Gramble. Gramble is probably the only new pull. Maybe the Berserker V, but I'm not sure. So yeah, it is what it is. Brilliant Stars won this round. We will do definitely more versus in the future. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other openings, some versus, uh, comparisons, and live streams. Uh, I really appreciate your support, guys. Thank you so much, and see you guys next time. Bye.